A few of you have requested that I do movie reviews on my channel, so today I'm going to fulfill that request. The movie I'm reviewing is going to be Saint Maud. Putting the image right there. <laughs> um, it's a film by A24 Studios um, who have put out things like Midsummer and Hereditary, so that's just already putting the mindset of maybe what to expect as far as the movie goes. Um, what Saint Maud is about, it is a young hospice nurse or nurse thing uh, that becomes dangerously obsessed with the soul of her dying patient. That's essentially what the description of the film is. Uh, after watching it, uh, definitely nowhere near as good as Hereditary or Midsummer. Uh, it is a very slow paced movie. It has good atmosphere. Uh, it is, I believe, the directorial debut of Rose Glass, I want to say is the name. Um, but the movie does a good job building up atmosphere and uh, just to me the best way that I can describe the film is basically just the interaction between the nurse and the dying patient and then that just kind of goes to a thing where there's a little bit of a party and then a conflict happens and then you see the decline of the nurse kind of become the middle act of the film and then she comes to grips with whatever it is uh, through her struggles I guess with uh, religion I guess is the best way to put it um, there is a scene during that whole depravity and uh, her descent into sinning I guess uh, where she encounters a young gentleman uh, and delivers the most awkward looking hand job in the world that is a spoiler I'm spoiling that for you guys right now just so you know there is a really awkward hand job in that film uh, she literally sits there and is looking at him like like this it's it's really awkward um, I'm, I'm talking way too much about hand jobs right now, but <laughs> this is definitely not kid friendly. So if you're kid watching, please turn this off. This is not for you. Um, if in fact it's so awkward, I don't know if you guys remember that whole weird uh, hand job cabin fake trailer. Uh, it's it's awkward like that. Just it's bad. So anyway. That's just what I wanted to point out. If you've seen the movie, uh, leave a comment below if you agree with me that that was a very awkward scene. So now I want to push that aside. Um, when she comes back to her wits, uh, there's a weird kind of scene that has a almost a black Philip feeling from the witch. Just to throw that out there. So all all these movies have that kind of weird religious horror kind of aspect to it. Um, and then it goes a very weird pace, and then that's where you kind of have to watch the film. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you, but, you know, it's it's worth the watch. Um, would I suggest going out to rent this film? Uh, it, it didn't leave me with a major, wow, this is the most awesomest thing ever. It, like I said, it's not good as Hereditary or Midsummer. It, it's decent. Um, if it were to show up on like Netflix or like Hulu or something like that, definitely worth a watch. Um, if you are super into religious horror, um, you know, give it a shot. Uh, there's a lot of religious horror movies that just, you know, go terrible or usually always a disappointment. With this one, I wasn't like, God, that's a pile of crap. It, it definitely kept me uh, wanting to keep watching. So it kept my um, my interest. There we go. <laughs> just, it was able to keep my interest going. So it it did okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you're trying to decide if you want to go see it or not, that's the best words of advice that I can give you as far as that goes on the film. So hopefully someone out there found this review somewhat useful. Um, that's all that I have to say on that. That's essentially like my first 
movie review thing that I just blurted out. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have seen Saint Maud, let me know in the comments what you guys thought, and uh, maybe I will bust out more of these movie reviews in the future. That's it for now. Talk to you later.